Hey guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to cover the anemia of chronic disease, which is yet another cause of microcytic hypochromic anemias. And if you haven't watched my previous video in which I covered the basics of microcytic hypochromic anemia, do watch that video because it will make you understanding this concept very easier. So let's start the video. Now what happens in case of anemia of chronic disease is that actually it is associated with some chronic inflammatory conditions which are like uh, prolonged conditions in which there is inflammation within the body. Now what are these chronic inflammatory states? I'll say for example we have a disease which is called as the Hashimoto's thyroiditis in which there is inflammation within the thyroid gland because of the production of antibodies against the thyroid tissue. Again we have an autoimmune condition called as the Sjogren's syndrome in which there is a destruction and inflammation within the salivary glands as a result of the production of autoantibodies against the salivary glands. Then there is an inflammatory condition which is called as the infective endocarditis again Again, in this condition there is inflammation occurring in the endocardium of the heart involving the heart valves then there are some conditions like sepsis or cancer in which also there is uh, you know inflammation within the body so in all these conditions what happen over there is that there is a production of some acute phase reactants now what are these acute phase reactants these are actually the molecules which are associated with the inflammatory states now these there is the production of these acute phase reactants so one of the most important acute phase reactants is the hepcidin so there is a production of acute phase reactants like the hepcidin and others now what will happen as a result of the production of these acute phase reactants is that there will be defective or there will be no transport of iron from the storage sites to the precursor cells in the bone marrow so there will be no transfer of iron from the storage sites like the liver and the spleen and also the bone marrow we have the storage sites there will be no transfer of iron from these storage sites into the precursor rbcs as a result of this the precursor cells they will not get enough iron now as a result of not getting the iron there will be a decreased production of heme and obviously there will be decreased production of hemoglobin because of decreased iron. So there will be decreased iron, there will be decreased heme and there will be decreased hemoglobin and this will lead to microcytic hypochromic anemia. So this is all about the microcytic hypochromic anemia like what are the states, what are the conditions which are associated with microcytic hypochromic anemia in case of anemia of chronic disease. Now there is another cause of anemia of chronic disease and it is the renal failure. Now in case of renal failure what happens over there is that there occurs the defective production of erythropoietin and you know that erythropoietin is essential for erythropoiesis. So as a result of decreased erythropoietin levels there will be decreased erythropoiesis leading to anemias and this anemia is obviously the anemia of chronic disease. Now if we, if we take on what are the clinical findings in case of anemia of chronic disease. So we will see in the PBF microcytic hypochromic anemia but also there will be some normocytes. Now why will these normocytes appear in the peripheral blood film? So actually what happens over there is that when the anemia is being developing initially the iron is there. So therefore the RBCs they will be decreased in number but they will be normal in their size because the iron was there. After some time as the iron it gets depleted obviously the RBCs they will be microcytes but initially the RBCs they were normocytes. So we have a mixed picture in which we have normocytes and we have microcytes. Now another thing that is important is what are the iron studies. Now this is very very important. 
if we talk about the iron studies first of all the serum iron it will be depleted because you know that the serum iron is being used by the precursor it is not the serum iron that is stopped from getting used from by the precursors it is the storage iron that is being stopped so serum iron will be decreased if we talk about the storage iron that is the ferritin the levels of ferritin they will be increased because they are not being used if we talk about TIBC that is the total iron binding capacity as I already told you that the total iron binding capacity is inversely proportional to the ferritin. So therefore the TIBC will be decreased because the ferritin is being increased and last but not the least if we talk about the saturation the saturation will remain normal or it will be depleted. Why normal because the TIBC is being decreased and the serum iron is being decreased so therefore they will nullify each other and it will remain normal but it can also be decreased. So this is all about the anemia of chronic disease. In my next video I will talk about the thalassemia which will be the last cause of microcytic hypochromic anemias.